He made a stand. He didn't compromise. This was a man that one man that didn't compromise for the faith. He says, no, I'm going to stand against all of it. All the world ways. Look, are you willing to be an Antipas? We need more Antipas. Anti against the stand against all. Are you willing to stand against everything that the world throws at you that they call knowledge and earthly wisdom and this stuff and all? You know, no, no, no. Our gaze should always be the word of God. Apart from that, you'll start believing everything you hear about everything and you'll start thinking that everything else is more important than the word of God. Politics and social, you know, justice and inge- all that stuff, that stuff has its place, but it's not more important than the word of God. And we live in a culture where Christians are being taken away from the, the word of God to all this other stuff. Well, look what he said. Now look what she said. Look, we don't have nothing to do with that. We're not of the world. We live in this world. Our job is to be proclaimers of the gospel and to stand against all that other stuff so we can have a clear path to share Jesus Christ. That's our job. The more we stay in the house, the more you look at social media all day long. This kept, that happened, that's cure, that be, you know, and after a while it becomes almost like, what do you really believe anyway? Do you believe in any of the stuff? The only thing we have that's sure is the word of God. And everything else becomes a bunch of nonsense after a period of time. So this man was probably thrown into this roasted thing, Antipas. Isn't that something? Will we compromise under pressure? Will we are afraid to face that which God has laid out for us? Let me tell you something. God laid out for us to be like Christ. What happened to Christ? He was crucified. He laid out for us to be like Christ. And when we withdraw from what God has laid out for us, you know what happens? We compromise. That's what we end up doing. We end up compromising. He said, I'm not compromising. Oh, yes, we will compromise. I'll say we because I'll include myself. We will compromise if we don't walk in what God has laid out for us. And that can be suffering and persecution. And Peter, when he was ready to, you know, they said, don't you know him, Peter? Peter said, I don't know the man. Peter, you know the I don't know him. And he said, I don't know that man. He cursed the little girl. Oh, I don't know him. And the rooster said, cock a doo doo doo. Because when we denounce Christ, deny Christ, it's because we compromise. 